Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be seeing if I can market prep almost 50 items in one week. So this is kind of in the style of how much can I crochet in a week except it's five days because I had a market on a Saturday and Sunday and I sold quite a lot of stuff so I wanted to restock for the market I had the next Saturday. So I had that Monday through Friday to crochet as much as I could and I wrote out a whole list with goals and everything. So this video is going to be seeing how much I was able to get done in those five days. Now, as always for you guys, the crochet patterns, yarns, any materials I'm using for these items in today's video will be linked in the description box below. But with that, we're just gonna get started on seeing how much I was able to make in those five days in between the markets. Hello you guys, so I wanted to start this video off on Sunday night, which is what it is, and give you my goals for what I would like to make throughout these five days. Now this is very ambitious, so I don't think I'm gonna get all this done, but we shall see. I will of course be vlogging throughout the five days to hopefully get as much done as I can and hold myself accountable if I'm recording for this video. <laughs> but um, these goals are based off of what sold really well at my market today and yesterday and what I need to restock. So, goals. We have five axolotls, four baby turtles, three rainbow bees, five chickens, three chicks, two ducks, two long neck dinos, three mini fish, three octos, three penguins, two squid, three triceratops, three otters, two mini bears, and then two flower keychains and two heart keychains, which all of that is a total of 47 items. I think the most I've prepped in a week, like five day period, is like 32. So I feel like that's probably about all I'm gonna get done. Maybe 40? I feel like 40 is pushing it. So 47 is really pushing it. But we'll see. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and um, wish me luck. Because <laughs> it would be nice to have all of this to restock my inventory. But of course, if I don't, it is what it is. But just thought I would do this video to hold myself accountable for prepping as much as I can in these five days in between markets. Hello you guys, so it is Monday and I'm starting with my prepping as much as I can. So I'm starting with chickens right now. I have this color yarn as well as this color yarn that sold out for my chickens. So I am remaking at least a few of those right now. In case you're curious on how exactly this market went, keep an eye out for next Friday's video one week from today. I will have the market breakdown out from this particular event that I just mentioned that a lot of my items sold really well at. And I will also have a vlog out on Monday for how that event went in general as far as being at the event and prepping for it and everything. So keep an eye out for those two videos if you want to see more on the specifics for that event. Dokie, here's my first little chicken of the day done, and I'm about to make a second one in the second color.
Alrighty, here is chicken number two, and I'm about to start a third one. Here is chicken number three, which I think I'm going to move on to something else. As you guys know me, I get bored after making the same thing too many times in a row. So I'm going to move on to something else. I haven't decided what yet, but I will, of course, update you once I decide. Okay, you guys, so it is now 4.23, so it's been a little while. I had a YouTube video that was premiering. So I was talking in the chat there and not updating here, but I did crochet this chick and took a little bit of a lunch break before that. So I am now going to finish crocheting this second chick and probably do a third one right now as well because three is what is my goal total. So I might as well do all three while I'm here. Here is this little chick and I'm going to make a third one now to round up my goal of three total. Okay, so here is chick number three, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna work on next, but it is time for me to go eat some dinner, so I'm gonna do that. And after dinner, I think I'm gonna go live on TikTok and do some crocheting. So what I'll do is just update you after I get off live with what I ended up crocheting during the live. Okay, so I have the update for today, day one, to share with you guys and to show you everything I crocheted. You guys saw the chickens and the chicks i did three of each of those and then on tiktok live i did three penguins i did just a few minutes ago make a chicken body so i'll finish this off in the morning but i'm really tired it's 12:09 right now so i'm not going to include the chicken for today it'll be included for tomorrow since it'll be done tomorrow anyways today is day one and we have a total of nine items. I think I said six earlier, but it's nine. And that is three out of five chickens, three ducks, which means, you guys, can you tell I'm tired? I'm saying the wrong thing. Three chicks, which means those are done, and three penguins, which means those are done. So the 47 that I have total minus the nine that I made today is 30 
eight items left. So I will update you guys tomorrow, of course, for day two for everything I end up getting done. Okay, you guys, so I never updated you today because I ended up crocheting outside, but I did make these two axolotls and nothing else so far today. I've not been productive at all. But anyways, I have yarns over here for rainbow bees and I use the same perfect chunk of yarn for axolotls. So I'm gonna make one more axolotl in purple right now and then I'm going to work on rainbow bees. axolotl now and I'm now going to be moving on to some rainbow bees. Okay, so I've been terrible at updating you guys today, but I showed you the three axolotls and I made two rainbow bees as well. And that has been it. So I feel like I'm definitely not gonna get to the 47 items this week. And that's okay. I'm just lacking in motivation, I think because I prepped so much for my previous market that now I'm just feeling like I want to take a break and can't really take a break. But anyways, that brings our total down to 33, which is still not a bad amount. I feel like I can do most of that before the market, but definitely not all of it. But anyways, we shall see. And for rainbow bees, by the way, I have three total. So I have two out of three done. And then for axolotls, I have five total. So I have three out of five done for those goals so anyways i will talk to you guys tomorrow oh also i did say i was going to finish this chicken today and i didn't end up doing that so i will finish this tomorrow probably i'll finish at some point this week let's just put it that way <laughs> and um anyway so i will talk to you guys tomorrow and give you updates of course on everything that i'm making and hopefully i'll do a better job updating tomorrow than i did today Okay, you guys, so another day where I haven't been the best at updating you, so I apologize, but I will be filming for the rest of the evening what I'm crocheting. I did crochet three of these little triceratops so far today. The weather's just been so nice that I've been trying to soak it in while it's nice, and I've been crocheting outside in the morning and then not remembering to bring my camera. So anyways, um, I did do those though, and I have the eyes out now for this little chicken. I'm going to finish it really quickly, and then I will be moving on to some octos. I already have the yarn and the eye size and everything I'm going to use over on the couch so that I can make those after I'm done with this. Okay, here is this little chicken done now. So now I'm gonna head over to the couch and start those octos like I mentioned.
Okay, so I just finished this little octo in the pink, white, and purple color. And now I'm just going to do a solid purple one. Okay, so I did finish that purple octo. I didn't show you guys, but I will show you at the end once I'm done for the day. During my little recap, I'll show you it. Um, and I'm now working on a blue and I'm already on the tentacles. Um, our neighbor's been coming over like every night this week. Um, and she's nine, so of course I'm not like trying to record her and put her in a video. But I've been crocheting while she's here, but she's like in the room talking and everything else. So anyways, I <laughs> started this octo and finished the other one while she was here, but she just left. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off now. Okay, you guys, here's this blue little octo done now. I'm going to move on to crocheting something else because I'm pretty sure my list only has three octos listed so that is all three of them done but i'm not sure what i'm going to move on to next but i will let you guys know once i have decided okay so i've decided to work on some mini fish now so i've switched to just chenille yarn and a four and a half millimeter hook Okay, here's one little mini fish done in purple, and I'm now gonna do one in this mint color. Okay guys, so it is day three, and here I am for a little recap for what I ended up making today. So you saw the three triceratops earlier, so I'm going to cross those three off the list, and that means I'm done with triceratops because I had three of those total. You also saw the chicken earlier that I finished up. So that means I have four out of five done. And then I have these three octos here that I made today. And I have three octos on my list, so that means those are done. And the final two items are these two little mini fish that I ended up doing today. And I have three of those on my list, so that means I have one left. So that is nine items for today, which yesterday we left off with a total of 33. So 33 minus nine is 24 items left on my list for two more days worth of crocheting, which like I said last night, I don't think I'm gonna get all 47 done. We shall see. Um, tomorrow I need to edit for Friday's video. So I don't think I'm gonna get that done. Um, 
as far as all the items, but I will be prioritizing some that I really do need to make, like baby turtles, because I don't have any of those. Um, I would really like to make the two ducks that I have on here because I have only two as it is right now. Um, I would like to make the three otters that I have on here because I only have one left. And then for the mini bears, I would like to make those as well because I only have two. Um, so at least one mini bear. Um, but anyways, we'll see between tomorrow and Friday what I can get done. And, uh, yeah, anyways, for today that is it. And we're ending off with 24 for today. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I've done a terrible job of updating for this video and I apologize. I really didn't do any crocheting today other than what I did on TikTok Live, which I got off of fairly recently. So I'll show you guys in the recap what I made during the live. And now I am sitting down to crochet a few more things. Today I've mainly been editing. The video that I edited that's going up tomorrow is a really long one. So I ended up spending most of the day doing that. But anyways, I have started this little otter and I'm going to try to make at least two of them here before I go to bed. Okay, so I finished this little otter and now I'm working on a second one and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go to bed after this because I am getting really tired. Okay, so it's day four and I am giving you the update now that I have made four items today. Like I mentioned earlier, I didn't get very much crocheting done at all because I was editing and doing computer work today. But anyways, what I did get done was this baby turtle, which is one out of the four I have written down. And then I got one little mini bear, which is one out of the two and two otters which is two out of the three so that is going to put us down to 20 now instead of 24 and tomorrow i will update you again for day five to share with you everything i end up crocheting i'm going to prioritize tomorrow at least one duck and then baby turtles. I'd like to get at least two more baby turtles done. Tomorrow we'll also have some prep to do for my market because it is the day before the market, but main things I'd like to do, like I said, is at least two more baby turtles and one duck. So we'll see, but I will update you tomorrow. Hello you guys. So I am here crocheting again. I'm only going to do a handful of items today because this afternoon I need to get everything ready for my market as well as film quite a few videos in preparation for the market and right now I'm working on a little mallard duck as you can see and I'm gonna do at least this and then two baby turtles and we'll see what time it is once I have those items done. Okay, here's my little mallard duck done. I'm gonna make two baby turtles later, but my mom called a little bit ago and said that she's on the way home with dinner. So I'm gonna go downstairs to eat dinner and then I'll be back up, make two baby turtles, and then I'm gonna call it quits for crocheting, which means that'll be all for the crocheting in this video because 
it is Friday and the market is tomorrow, but we do still have those two baby turtles left, so I will see you in a little while for those. Okay, so I am now working on the baby turtles. It's been a while, but I'm finally back to crocheting. And like I said, it's just gonna be this baby turtle and then one more because I need to get to filming and then get ready for bed. So I can go to sleep at a decent time and then get up early tomorrow for my market. Okay you guys, so it is day five and I am going to give you the update for today which is only a handful of items and I am cutting it short like I mentioned because I really need to film and then go to bed early tonight. So I did this mallard duck like you guys saw. So that is one out of the two that I had written down and then I also did two baby turtles one in purple and one in dark green. So that is three out of the four done total. And that was three items for today total. So yesterday we ended off with 20 minus the three leaves me with 17. So I was not able to finish 47 items in one week, but I was able to do 30 items which I still feel like that's not bad, and I am pretty happy with that for this market. Ideally, if I was able to get everything done on this list, then that would have been great, but I did prioritize the stuff that was completely sold out or almost completely sold out, so I am happy with the amount that I have to bring to this market tomorrow, and I will have the market videos up for this coming market that I have tomorrow up right after you are seeing this video. So keep an eye out for those. But that is all for seeing if I'm able to crochet 47 items in one week. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought, if you think you'd be able to get this many items done in five days, or if you would be able to get more done. I was hoping to get more done like you saw but that just didn't work out unfortunately but i was still happy with the amount i was able to get done to have at that next market now if you guys want to make sure you don't miss out on videos like this in the future as well as all of my other videos make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that you know every single time i upload a brand new video and if you guys do want to see more from me of course you can check out more videos of mine my blog my etsy shop my Rebler shop all of my social medias and my second channel, all of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. As well as for today, of course, you can find the yarns, patterns, all materials used for these items linked below for you. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!